Over my years in Estevan, I have played a lot of rec hockey games. We used to have this one referee that would come and referee our games, and he was just horrible. He would come out and wanted to be the boss of everything. And, and so not only did he call penalties and, and beak off to people all the time, but as you were carrying the puck, he would tell you what to do. You'd be carrying the puck and he'd be like, Hey, get your head up. There's a man up front. Pass it to him. He's telling us what to do all the time. It was really bizarre. I, I don't know why he thought he was in charge of everything, but he did. And he acted like you sometimes think referees might be acting, right? Sort of on a power trip. And, and you might not be surprised to know that he often got in fights with people, right? He'd call a penalty and somebody would disagree and then he'd get in a big screaming match with them. And this guy was just overbearing. It was just, it was just never much fun when this guy was refing our hockey games because he just wanted to be the center of everything. By contrast, I volunteer out at the Estevan Motor Speedway. I'm one of the flagmen out there, and uh, every once in a while I get to run the pit meeting with the drivers. I've said several times, and I've heard it said by several others who run those pit meetings, we often say to them, we are here for you. All of the officials at the Speedway are volunteers, and the only reason we're there is because we like racing, and, and we're only there to help the racers race. Are we going to enforce rules? Absolutely. Are we going to get it right all the time? Not always. But our only reason to be there is to help the racers put on a show. The only reason people volunteer to keep score upstairs or check cars for their technical um, equipment and things like that, the only reason we volunteer to do that, the only reason we're officials is because we want to help them do what they want to do. Those are two completely different approaches, aren't they? One, where a guy is trying to just enforce the rules and be the boss and be the center of things, or another group of people who are saying, we are here to help you. The Apostle Paul once wrote to the church in Rome, he said, be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. That's Romans chapter 12, verse 10. Be devoted to one another not yourself. You're not the center. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourself. We're living in a time right now where there's lots of weird rules going on. Lots of things are happening. Lots of people have opinions. Lots of people are mad. Lots of people are shooting their mouths off about what they think ought to be happening, whether they have any reason to think that's true or not other than their own opinion. Maybe it's time we acted more like the volunteers at the Estevan Motor Speedway rather than the hockey ref who wants to be the center of everything. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. If we can get out of the way, if we can be here for others and put others first, we're going to have a better result. We're going to enjoy it better. We are going to make something better together. Honor one another above yourself.